Storm Shadow Shadow All right, so here we are. I've been working on putting together the first uh, assembly, I guess you can call it, of the PC, and we're going to test it for post in just a second. So I figured I'd share that with you guys. So I've got my camera set up, light, and then I'm also doing a time lapse up there. So I've been doing things uh, to try to, you know, have some footage to show you guys. I still see some people, um, Kind of question what the point of putting together a build outside of the case first is and it's just a, a test boot that you want to do to make sure nothing is dead on arrival uh, it, you know it takes a while to get your stuff inside of the case and it's hard to do um, minimally with no cable management and stuff like that and also things like a aftermarket cooler can be particularly difficult to put on so you don't want to put everything in the case put everything in the motherboard on the motherboard, spend a half an hour putting a cooler on uh, the build and then find out that the CPU is dead on arrival and then you have to pull everything out or vice versa, the GPU and all that kind of stuff. Flip that switch, and then we need to find, there's a light, that is good, we need to find the power, power switch, and that is a thing, why aren't you spinning? We have a post, but that is worrisome. CPU fan error. So let's power down the system and try to figure out what's wrong with that. this was just um, the way it was in there by default it was kind of super duper tight up against the fan and was actually restricting the fan from spinning so I just had to give it a little bit more slack I've never seen that happen on any PC I've built but let's do this again now everything is spinning the way it should and we have post. So here and here. Yay! So we've got our BIOS. Spun up, it was actually really super loud at first. But now, at idle, it's like spooky quiet. And here, you can see the RAM pulsing a little bit, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna go turn off the light so we can see what that's like. So as you can see, there's LEDs on the EVGA GeForce GTX 980 for the win edition, the for the win, and then this text lights up. And then there are also LEDs in the RAM. And they pulse with RAM activity. That's pretty freaking ballin'. Um, that's gonna be so dope when I have LEDs all over the case. I'm excited. See, so let me turn the lights back on and Everything seems to be running at good temperatures. You 
can see the EUFI. Um, it's got a special tough edition, I think, of the e e e UEFI BIOS. That power supply fan doesn't even turn because it's not really under load. It's a semi-passive um, cooling solution, so it won't even turn on when the CPU isn't under load. That's spinning super slow. That again has passive, um, semi-passive cooling, so its fans don't turn on uh, until it gets to a certain load. You can see the monitor is hooked up to that GPU, and it's driving that monitor, but no spin zone. So, um, as I mentioned before, we're trying to make this a super, super quiet build, and under idle, it should definitely be quiet because the only thing that spins is that CPU fan and we're going to be replacing that with an aftermarket cooler which should have a super quiet fan, so excited about that. Alright guys, so that is it. Thank you for watching this video. You guys know what to do. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know whether you want to see more stuff like this in the future. I'm going to be doing a lot of quick build vlogs for you guys so you can see what's going on with the project. But if you uh, let me know what you want to see in the comments, I can try to do some of that stuff for you. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on the social medias and all that kind of stuff. Thanks again for watching. Peace out. His destiny was to die a ninja. Storm Shadow. Shadow.